You welcome back. It's still uh, the breakfast on Plus TV Africa, and we're glad to know you're still there. Most experts agree that the word spa originating or originated in the Belgian town of Spa, which has been famous for its thermal baths with a healing power since antiquity. Alternative theories also think that uh, the word spa is an acronym of the Latin phrase salus per aquam, which translates as health through water. But today, we're not concerned about the etymology of the word. We're concerned about uh, the expansion of this business and how it impacts on our health if we patronize a, a typical spa. And we are very glad to have with us on the program Dr. Toby Ayodele Kinney, the Managing Director of Quincy Wellness and Naturopathic did I get that? that Naturopathic Centre. Uh, she's here with us. Uh, welcome to the programme. Thanks for having me. Yeah, Naturopathic. Right. Naturopathic. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, um, since you're here and our time is very short, mm -hmm. let's just go straight to what are, what are the services rendered by a typical spa? Because when you call spa, a lot of people just think it's massage and that's it. Okay, so a spa is not just massage. So massage is part of is part of a spa. Mm -hmm. So a spa is what you said, you know, you, a place of wellness, a place of relaxation. That doesn't doesn't mean just purely massage. It means facials, it means getting your body pampered, it means going somewhere to come out feeling more refreshed and more energized or more relaxed than how you went in. So that could involve various things. That involves massage. Even within massage, there are different kinds of massages. There are massages for healing. There are massages for stress relief. Um, there are facials for stress relief. There are um, body techniques and different things for weight loss. There are so many different things inside the spa. Um, but the main thing I want to also point out is that um, 30% of Nigerians do suffer from one form of mental health um, illness or the other, of which the majority is anxiety and depression, which is also due to stress. And um, we don't really have a lot of mental health facilities out there. So guess what the spas are doing? The spas are you know, ad hoc in as these mental <laughs> health facilities for people to go in there and just feel you know, get some tension of themselves, get some, just feel, you know, when they're going in there, it's like a place of peace, a place of comfort, and they can get some form of therapy in going to a spa, whether it's just to get your nails done or to get your face looking better or to lose weight or to get your massage or to, whatever it is you are going there for, it's, it's, it's something that people go there for. How, not for popular, their how yeah. popular is, is spa among Nigerians, would you say? It's, it's growing. So I'll, I'll say globally, the industry is about $47.5 billion. And it's expected to grow to about 52 point something billion dollars by 2028. And Nigeria is a big country. So we can imagine we're tapping into that, those billions of dollars in terms of um, just annual re revenue, just by the sheer volume of people that we are. Um, growing up, we Spa was just like, this place you go to get massage and you come out. But now it's, it's burgeoning into what you will see more, even as higher standards than inter most international spas that you will go to a lot of spas. Now we have some spas and then we have spas. Um, it's definitely growing in Nigeria. It's growing in there. I will not say, you no. Know, people always say Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria. I say, no, Lagos is a different place from Nigeria. So we can talk about Lagos, Potakos, Abuja, and the major cities. And let's talk and focus on that and urban areas versus village areas. The villagers may not need spas. Mm. You know, but the rural setting is a different lifestyle. They, yeah. you know, they don't have that kind of stress that we have and things like that. So I'll say when I say Nigeria, I'll say, I'll say well, let's focus on the urban settings mm. and use that one to gauge what we're talking about. So in terms of the urban settings, Spa, the spa industry is burgeoning, is growing. There's medical aesthetics in spa. Um, I'm a Canadian board certified um, on, med on aesthetic medicine where you can get your Botox fillers, things to like help you look and feel younger to you know, slow the It also includes aging. the abracadabra, you go in black and come out white. Now that's the one I don't like. So I see things on social media. I see things on social media, and um, I thank God, first of all, that 
I was already a fully grown adult, you know, with, with children and, you know, living my life before Instagram came in. Because um, it's un unfortunate because now Instagram or let's just say social media has um, played on the fact that you believe what your eyes see. Mm. And so people use that to draw people to them. You know, this is this before and this is this after. And unfortunately, 70%, and I'll say 99, 70% of Africans, but not really 99% of African women mm. use bleaching products. Mm. So a lot of the spas that are out here are pandering towards, you know, bleaching, you know, baths, you know, bleaching scrubs, whitening, you know, this and all that. And you see things on Instagram, on social media, and things like that, where somebody goes into a bath, you know, with some kind of liquid, Chemical. and yeah. then they use a spoon and they're scraping, you know, their skin off, and it's now a white person, you know. I'm thinking of the, as a medical professional, I'm thinking of the medical implications of this. This person is losing his or her melanin, is exposing herself or himself to skin cancer, you know, um, then they can even get darker again eventually, and only God knows what can happen to that person in the future. But at the present, in that, you know, in that promoted post, this is this wow thing, and then it's drawing people to the wrong thing. So I do not um, support that kind of spa. A uh, spa should be a place where you should go to become healthy. The Romans did it. They would go to do their steam baths. The um, Persians would do their hammam bath. There are a lot of things you can do healthily. To, you know, when you go to a spa, your aim is to come out feeling better, looking better, not, um, not following the trend of um, you know, some liquid chemical solution mm -hmm. thingy and you know, looking you know, white. And a lot of the spa owners that you see are, 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 you know, are filtered. And I tell my clients, I say, do you want to look, are you buying a product, are you buying a filter? You know, they don't know that this person who is promoting this product or this person is, is, does not even look like that. They're using a filter to promote their products. So I'm like, are you buying a product or service? Are you buying a filter? Okay, time will not permit us to go so far into this discussion, but let's talk about massage. Before we had this modern day spa, we used to have our traditional massage, yes. and they are different. Our traditional massage Press, rub, <laughs> press, you know, and you know, if, your, if your waist was in a certain way, by the time an African finishes pressing you, you, you hear crumb and you say, yes, <laughs> yes, this waist used to be one kind, now it's, oh, but yeah. today you have the modern one, which is more tender and soft and, you know, all of that and all of that. Does one have an advantage over the other? Okay, so I think it's, it's up to the person. I personally like... They call it, what you're calling is, what you're describing is deep tissue massage mm -hmm. or shiatsu massage. They have all these different names. Last, last is using your hand to press very hard on that person and, you know, going deep into the muscles and, mm -hmm. you know, not, you know, massaging out the kinks. And we even did it for babies. We do it mm -hmm. for babies growing up. Even other cultures do it for their babies to help them to relax and be flexible and things like that. Um, deep tissue massage is more of a therapeutic massage, meaning that it actually helps to treat um, sore muscles and, you know, back pain and things like that compared to the, you know, using you know, the relaxation and all those types of things. Um, so it depends on what you are looking for. If you have a condition like maybe back pain or neck pain, a deep tissue massage will be better for you than say you just want to fall asleep. Okay, uh, well, uh, we've run out of time, but so if you can do in uh, 30 seconds, just talk to Lagosians about why there is need to access a spa, to the services of a spa, uh, especially this, our place, this Lagos is crazy. <laughs> so talk to Lagosians in your uh, parting words. Okay, so I would love to talk to all Lagosians out here. Um, you only have one life to live, and... Um, as stressful as life is, it's always very important to take time for yourself. Because I always tell people that um, you said that you love your neighbor as you love yourself. So you need to love yourself. 
And that involves taking care of yourself from head to toe. It doesn't just mean buying beautiful clothes and beautiful shoes. It also means taking care of yourself from the inside and also on the outside. And that also involves getting things like massages, your facials, pampering yourself in whatever way, um, shape or form. And going to a spa, a wellness spa, a, wet, a wellness center, a medical a med spa, those are places you can go to actually actualize that um, a possibility of being healthy, feeling healthy, and just pampering yourself, enjoying yourself. Okay, well, uh, you've heard it there from uh, Dr. Toby Ayodelekini. Um, a lot of people will have this phobia of going to a psychiatric home uh, to access mental health uh, services. But now you have the opportunity to go to a spa mm -hmm. and people will just look at you that you went there to get beautiful, whether it is in your body or in your mind. So it's a very good thing uh, to have. And we'd like to thank Dr. Toby Ayodele for coming on the Ayodelekini for coming on the program thank you so much thanks for having me okay we will access the services in your uh, wellness and naturopathic center one day <laughs> okay so we'll be joined by um, uh, Mudashiro Shito in a short while to take us around the world of sports stay with us <laughs>